Kelsey Derringer, and I'm going to be your teacher today at CodeJoy. We're an online classroom that specializes in coding education, robotics, and maker education. But I'm not the only one here today. I have quite a few friends with me. I also have Matt the Robot. Hey, Matt the Robot. How's it going? Hey, Kelsey. Doing well. How are you? I am doing great. How are you doing today, Matt? I'm still doing pretty well. Uh, <laughs> I'm really excited to answer some of the questions that are going to be coming in from Facebook and YouTube. That's right. Matt is our director and producer. And so he uh, does a lot of things behind the scenes. But also, if you are watching live on Facebook or YouTube or any of the other places we're streaming, if you have any questions or comments or if you have any encouragement for our other friend who's here today, you should let us know about that because we can actually see it and Matt will bring that into the class live. Is that right? That's right. All That's right. right. Cool. So it's not just me here. It's not just Matt here. I want to go to gallery view really quick and have everybody who's here on Zoom wave hello. Everybody want to say hi? hi. We'll get to know some of these friends later today, but I have one more friend who's here with me in the studio that I want to introduce you to. Everybody say hello to Sylvester. Hi, Sylvester. How's it going, little buddy? You know, I'm so excited for you today, man. He, um, um, Sylvester is at the Rock, Paper, Scissors Regional Championships today. And I just think you must be so excited. Are you excited, Sylvester? Not. Well, what's up, man? Why aren't you excited? Oh, that's a really good point. All the signs, but he's, he said he's feeling really nervous, you guys. And I can see why. Can you guys see all those signs that people are, all, are holding up behind him? There's one that's got like an angry face. The one next to it is saying, you stink. Well, that's really, that's rude. I would not hold up a sign that says that. There's another one that says, boo. Oh man, that's in poor taste. And the one on the end is just, it's got a down arrow, like you're going down. Sylvester, I think we can help. Do you want us to help you out, man? Okay, great, great. So this is what we need you guys to do here on Zoom. The folks here on Zoom have joined something called Microbit Classroom, and they are gonna help out Sylvester. Let me show you what you can do to help. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make those signs back there say something a little nicer, okay? So let me go to Microbit Classroom and show you what you're working with here. So this is the code over here this is the code that's running some of those signs back there. Remember the one that says you stink? That's what this one is looking like. It says you stink. And then it's doing like a, oh, like a face, right? And then it's pausing for 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to our microbit classroom. Nope, not that one. I'm going to go back to our microbit classroom, which is, uh, which one? Where'd it go? I'll let Matt help me find that yep. for a second. Will you help me pull up Microbit Classroom, Matt? Thanks. I lost it. I have too many tabs open. <laughs> um, but what you guys are going to do is you're going to reprogram one of those Microbits to say something a little bit nicer, okay? So we're going to send you one of the mean codes if you're with us on Microbit Classroom. We're going to send you that code, and we need you to fix it. Type something encouraging in there. Make it have a little kinder expression on its face. There we go. All right. So we've got our microbit classroom up and you can see all the people who are in our microbit classroom right now. And then we are going to go up and I'm going to go to our student codes and I've got student Kelsey student code number one and I'm going to share that with everybody, not with my two other student accounts, but I'm going to share it with everybody else. So everybody who's in microbit classroom, I just shared that code with you and now you can start to edit it. And we really need your help to edit it because Sylvester, how you doing, little buddy? Yeah, he's not feeling too good. He's feeling pretty nervous. He could really use some encouragement. All right, so you guys work on that. Looks like we might have a couple of comments and questions coming in from other places. What do While you guys are working, let's check in with Facebook and YouTube. What's happening, Matt? Well, we had a comment from After School Brilliant saying that they were having a hard time hearing you, but I think we fixed our mic issue. Thank oh. you so much for bringing that up, After School Brilliance. Thanks, After School Brilliance. Means a lot to us, <laughs> letting us know how we're doing. Um, cool. So uh, now when you play rock, paper, scissors, you guys know how to play like rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, etc. It's not a one person game, right? I kind of know which thing I'm going to do if I'm playing with myself. You got to have an opponent. So like any good rock, paper, scissors competition, 
This one has an opponent too. Let's go meet uh, Sylvester's opponent. Whoa, okay. That is Mr. Arm. Hey, Mr. Arm. Uh, I've heard about this guy. He's a brilliant rock, paper, scissors player. And I've heard that he's just like really strong. He's got a really strong rock, you know? Whoa, yeah, that's a strong rock. He's got a really strong paper. Whoa, that's a really strong paper. And I, I hear his scissors is just deadly, man. Whoa, that is a scary looking scissors. The other thing I've heard about him, gotta, I gotta chill out for a second. The other thing I've heard about him is that sometimes he even cheats. I don't even know how you cheat at rock, paper, scissors, but uh, he does. So we gotta keep an eye out for him. One last thing is if you are coding at home and you want to work on that mean code and make it nice, if you wanna do that by yourself at home, you can do that by going to this bit.ly link here. That will get you to a make code project that looks just like the mean code that we were looking at before, all right? So bit.ly slash capital RPS code one. And there's gonna be some other bit.ly links too. So even if you're watching this weeks or months later after class, you can see the code and work on it too by going to this bit.ly link. Looks like we had a quick question coming in from one of our friends here on Zoom. Uh, Colin, what was your question? Do you want to unmute yourself? Should that code have popped up on our screen that you sent everyone? It should what? have. Let's check in and see if it got no, sent I to you. I don't see it. Okay, let's see if we can get it sent to you. So I'm going to share this code. I'm not going to share it with everybody else. I'm just going to share it with Colin because I don't want to replace everything everybody else is working on. Not any of these folks. Do, 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 do. There you go. So I'm just sharing it with Colin. Now, did that code pop up on your screen, Colin? It says use code, which Yeah, I go ahead and say text. yes, use that code. There you go. Perfect. Okay, Thanks for making sure to ask that question. So now you can play. All right, let's see what other people are doing. Let's see what encouraging codes. Oh, this is so nice. Look at, gee, I think that's Genevieve. Genevieve said, yay, and then made a little ooh face. That would be a nice code to put on there. Let's put that one on a micro bit mat in just a minute. We're gonna do that. And I wanna take a look at a couple other ones too. I like Graham's. Graham says, you got this Sylvester and put a heart on there. That's very kind, Graham. Let's take a look at a couple other ones. Justin says, you go. What does Mrs. Malik say? Go Sly, go Rocky. You got our reference, Aline. <laughs> I mean, Penelope and Xander are working on some really cool things. Ooh, look what they're doing here. They are making this heart go little and then big. That one's pretty cool too. So we're gonna put Genevieve's code on there and then let's do, let's do Justin's as well because those are nice short phrases. So we'll put those on our micro bit. So while Matt's working on that, remember if you are at home and you uh, want to play with this code too, you certainly can by opening this make code file right here. Um, so while we're putting some nicer code on the signs back there, um, I'm gonna borrow the um, mouse for just a moment because I wanna go to gallery view because I know that some of you guys have participated in um, competitions before as well. Genevieve, you actually did a competition at Maker Fair, right? Are you still here? Do you wanna unmute and tell us what you did, Genevieve? Tell us about that competition. I made, um, me and my mom, my sister made costumes, homemade costumes of people from Star Wars, Verisafi and Ahsoka. And then we went to the Maker Fair wearing them and there was a competition with a whole bunch of other people. There was a kids competition and an adults competition and we won second place in the kids competition. That is awesome. Do, do you have any advice for Sylvester about how to stay cool in the heat of a competition, Genevieve? Um, what, what kept you calm, man? I just kind of did what we practiced and, pretend, and pretended that no one was there. And All right, Sylvester. Can you do that? Can you do just like you practice, pretend nobody's there? That's some solid advice, Genevieve. That's really kind of you. All right, so we're still putting some other code on our um, micro bits here. So I'd love to check in with Colin. Colin's been in some, in some competitions too. Do you wanna tell us about one of the competitions that you won, Colin? You can unmute. Well, I've been in a lot of Pinewood Derbies and my first year I got second place. The other three I have gotten first place. 
That um, is way really cool. Is that your trophy right first, there? Yeah. This I'm is gonna one borrow of the mouse so I can I can take a look at your trophy, man. Hold it up, show it off. And the the last time I was in the Pinewood Derby, I was second best out of everyone. That is awesome. Congratulations, Colin. Just for a moment, can you tell everybody what the Pinewood Derby is? Show us what's on top of that trophy there. That can give people a clue. It's a what, little, is, what is the Pinewood Derby? It's a little car. So <laughs> the Pinewood Derby is this. I'll get it for you, oh, yeah. Get the fluke. Okay. So <laughs> the Pinewood Derby is this little racing game. Yeah. Cub Scouts build cars. This is the car that I used to win that trophy. And then it's called they the race fluke. Them I love that. Track. That's a great name for a car. <laughs> it's a great one. It was based off of the Down and Derby movie that they always play a bit before the Pinewood Derby. Because That's great. one of the because the winning car who actually that actually makes a new world record is well, it doesn't actually make an world record, but it's called the <laughs> yeah. flu. So it doesn't look like this, but I put the and fluke on there and named it the fluke. And the people there, they want the name of your car for some reason, but yeah, it, they could easily tell that it would. That's awesome. Well, do you have any uh, any words of advice for Sylvester to help him do better in this competition? Anything you want to tell him? What? Anything you want to tell Sylvester to help him keep chill? Prepare for the competition. That's a really good idea. You should probably prepare for the competition. Sylvester, did you prepare for this competition? You did. Okay, that's good. What did you do to prepare for it? Dude, that's really intense. You shouldn't push yourself that hard. You got to like take a rest every once in a while too, okay? You know? We love you. We don't want you to, to go too hard, so. All right. So, we're putting some nicer signs on the uh, in the crowd back behind Sylvester. But I'm also wondering for those of you watching live, um, does anybody want to give him any words of encouragement either out there on Facebook or YouTube or anybody want to unmute? And tell him any other advice, words of encouragement as he's getting ready to go in the ring. What do you think, Graham? What should we tell him? Well, he should probably, like, try not to be nervous and just calm down. Yeah. So he, does, so he doesn't mess up. Maybe take some deep breaths. Can you take some deep breaths, Sylvester? Okay. Going to take some deep breaths. That's much better. All right. So we're putting some nice new signs on our on our things back there, and I'm so excited to see your code in action. Are you guys ready to see it? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to see some of your code in action. All right, let's check it out. I'm gonna spotlight me so I'm nice and big, and we're putting the last one on back there. I'm watching our, uh, our crowd control put on the, the nice signs. Here we go. Here are you guys' much, positive, much more positive signs in action. Looks like we've got one that says, yay, and then it's got a little smiley face, and one that says, go. Oh, that one, still, that one still says, you stink. Oh, no. Well, we'll work on that one later. All right. So what we're ready for now, though, is we're ready for round one. Sylvester, you ready for round one? All right. He's ready for round one. Mr. Arm, are you ready for round one? All right. Here we go. And we are going to start round one. Here we go. I'm going to change Sylvester's code really quick to be his rock, paper, scissors code. So it's not a heart anymore. It's going to be his other code here. All right. So here we go, gentlemen. I want a clean fight. I want you to both keep your heads about you. And we go on shoot. It's rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Sylvester threw a ghost? Sylvester, that's not a rock or paper or scissors. Remember, it's rock, paper, scissors. Okay, ready? Do it again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. A heart? Sylvester, Mr. Arm is kicking your butt. You gotta throw rock or paper or scissors, dude. Okay, last chance, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Umbrella? Sylvester, do you know how to play rock, paper, scissors? 
Are you kidding me right now? You don't even know how to play? How did you even get into this competition? Well, that is a crazy story. And that does not qualify you to be in the Rock, Paper, Scissors Regional Championship. You guys, we have a problem. Sylvester does not know how to play Rock, Paper, Scissors. He's playing Heart, Ghost, Umbrella. Not the right game. We need to fix his code. So let's check it out and see what his code looks like, okay? This is the code that Sylvester is running. And I wonder if you guys can help us figure out what's going wrong here. All right, so we've, I'm gonna grab his micro bit out of him so that we can fix it up and change that code. Gosh, Sylvester, you're, you're bumming me out here. That's not the code you need at all. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and also share this code with you guys in Microbit Classroom so that you guys can help us fix it, okay? So here's our Microbit Classroom. We're gonna go to Kelsey student number two and we're gonna share this code with everybody here. So it's gonna replace the code that you're working with so that you guys can work on Sylvester's code, okay? Because, so that should pop up on your screen. Because can you guys figure out what's going wrong in this code here? It says, uh, uh, oh, I think it's actually missing something. Let me check one thing really quick. I may need to reshare it with you guys. Uh, oh, no, that's right, okay. So in this code, um, the when we shake him, the uh, it's gonna choose a random number, one, two, or three and then it's gonna to go to zero. So if it picks the number one, it's gonna show the symbol umbrella, which is not the symbol it should be doing. It should be doing like rock, right? So you could go in here and choose any other different symbol in there. Um, if it chooses the number two, it's gonna show a heart, but you know that should probably be like paper, right? And then after that, if it chooses the number three, it's gonna show ghost, which again, the game is not ghost, heart, umbrella, the game, is rock, paper, scissors. So we're gonna need your help to change those symbols in there, all right? Uh, looks like we had a question, or while well, you guys work on that, it looks like we had a question coming in from somewhere. Uh, what's up, Matt, what do we got? Well, we had a comment from Facebook, somebody giving Sylvester some uh, good advice. They were saying, don't lock your knees. And- uh... <laughs> Don't lock your knees, Sylvester. Stay loose, okay, little buddy? <laughs> All right, I think that should help. That'll be good. <laughs> One other thing is, uh, again, for those of you who are hanging out um, out there in uh, live stream land, or if you're watching this later on, you guys can see that ghost umbrella heart code that Sylvester is running if you go to this bit.ly link. So I'll keep that up here. If you guys wanna try fixing that code and putting that on a micro bit, you can try that out as well. Um, let me check in for a moment, let me check in with our folks on, uh, who are on Microbit Classroom. All right, let's see what they're up to. Let's see if they have figured out how to make uh, an umbrella, not an umbrella. The umbrella is what we don't want. How, if they've figured out how to make rock and then paper and then scissors. All right, so let's check them out. What is, let's see, what's Will up to? Will's still got that original code, so Will might be still working on something. Penelope and Xander, how are they doing? Are they, ooh, they've got that top one. They've got showing scissors, which is really cool. Look at that scissors right there. That's great. Um, I love how that scissors is turning out. Looks like the second one, they've got paper. Very cool. Let's check in with Cat. Let's see what Cat's looking like. Ooh, Cat's got scissors. Cat's got paper. And Cat's got rock down there. We did it. Cat, Cat, guess what? We're going to use your code. You got it ready. We're going to do it. Okay. So I'm gonna let Matt do that in the background and I'm gonna bring this back up for those of you participating at home. Matt's gonna bring up Cat's uh, code in the background and we're gonna download that onto this micro bit right here. All right, so we're gonna download it onto here and we're doing that in the background. Do, 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 do. Okay, got it. So now I think we're ready for round two, okay? So this is gonna be Sylvester's new micro bit. I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna put that in his heart. And then I'm gonna go put it in Sylvester. We're gonna be ready for round two. And I have high hopes about this one, you guys. I think it's gonna be great. But the one concern that I do have that I'm a little worried about is, um, I've, been, I've heard that Mr. Arm is known to cheat. And I don't know how he could cheat at rock, paper, scissors, but everybody cross your fingers. Let's hope he doesn't cheat, okay? So, uh, all right. We'll go back over to the ring over here. 
Gentlemen, we are about ready to start round two. Are you ready? Come on, Sylvester. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Come on, man. Are you ready? Better. All right. So, uh, gentlemen, round two. All right, Sylvester. I believe in you, little man. Let's put your micro bit in here that's running the correct code this time. Here we go. Get out of your arm this isn't your time all right gentlemen i want a clean fight i want a clean fight here we go let me put that in there a little further there we go all right on shoot rock paper scissors shoot we threw a rock and mr arm threw a paper first part goes to mr hand mr arm excuse me all right rock paper scissors shoot he threw a rock again and he threw paper again hey sylvester you should probably try throwing something other than rock can you do that what do you mean? You can't throw anything other than rock? Come on, man, you can do it. Just try, okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock again! Sylvester, is something wrong with your code? Mr. Arm, did you cheat? Get out of here, Mr. Arm, get out of this place. Let's go check out your code. Something went wrong again. We gotta figure out what happened to your code. Oh no! Sylvester! This is terrible. Mr. Arm somehow, and I don't know how this happened. Mr. Arm messed with Sylvester's code so that it is only showing the rock symbol. It's not ever showing paper or scissors. Let's take a look and see what could be the issue behind there. So here's our code. I'm going to get this out of the way so we can see it. So it's got rock. Cool. So if it throws the number one, it's got rock. If it's got paper, it's going to throw the number uh, that when it throws a number two, it's going to show paper. And if it does the number three, it's going to do scissors. Okay, all that's working. Do you guys see anything that might be wrong with the code over here? If you do, raise your hand and figure out and, and, and volunteer. Explain to us what's going on with this code. What's wrong with it? What do you think, Graham? Let's go to you. What's wrong with this code, Graham? Um... It says pick random number one to one. It should be one to three. Yeah, you're totally right. This code right here is saying pick random number one to one. That's no range at all. So over here, when we're, when we're taking a look at this code, look what happens. It's always throwing rock because rock is set at number one. So it's only ever throwing number one. So what we need to do is we need to fix this code. So Graham, can you help us out? You said, uh, tell me again, what should I change this to? Pick random number one to what? One to three. Yeah, such a simple thing. All Mr. Arm had to do, and we're gonna download this code onto our micro bit here. All Mr. Arm had to do was change one little number in the code, and that messed up everything that Sylvester was doing. All right, we've downloaded this code onto here now, and I'm gonna put the right code onto Sylvester. Sylvester, let me check in with you, buddy. Are you, are you a little shaken up over there? Listen, man, it's going to be okay. How about you guys here on Zoom? Can we go to gallery view? Can you guys tell Sylvester any words of encouragement? Somebody just messed with him pretty hard. What would you say to your friend if somebody just cheated to make them lose? Any words of wisdom or advice? Uh, oh, Lisa's got some words of encouragement and it looks like Xander does too. Xander, let's go to you. What would you say to, what would you say to Sylvester to make him feel better? Somebody just cheated. You're great. You're great, Sylvester. You've got this. All right, little man. How about you, Genevieve? What would you say to Sylvester? Oh, you're muted. Try your best. Try your best. Do you think you can try your best, Sylvester? All right, looks like Graham has a couple nice things to say to you too. What do you got to say, Graham? Um, even if they're cheating, that just means that they're probably not good at it when they're not cheating. You know, I bet that's right. What do you think, Sylvester? Hey man, listen, they go low, we go high. Keep it positive, Sylvester. That was really nice, Graham. That was really good. If somebody else is cheating, that probably just means they're feeling insecure. They're probably not very good at this. All right, we got the good code on here. You know what we should do? We should check it to make sure this code is good. Let's do something called testing. 
to make sure that this code is good, all right? So I'm gonna go to my top down here and we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna shake it, paper. That's a good sign. It wasn't even throwing paper at all before. How about now? If I shake it again, shake it. Ah, scissors. There we go. Wasn't showing scissors before. Can we get it to throw rock? There's paper. There's scissors. So we've got paper and scissors. Scissors again, paper. Can we get it to throw rock? I'm gonna keep shaking it until I see it throw rock. Aha, it threw rock. Can you guys see that? It's a little washed out, but I got it to throw all three symbols. So now we've tested it. And now I think we're ready for round three. And I gotta tell you guys, this is a real random code. I have no idea what it's gonna throw and neither does Mr. Arm. For the first time, this is a fair fight. And oh, yeah, I just heard from the judges. They said that round one didn't count because Sylvester didn't know how to play. And round two didn't count because Mr. Arm cheated. So it all comes down to round three. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. Uh, this is the first fair fight that we've had today. Sylvester, are you ready? Oops. Sylvester, are you ready? Okay, I think you guys' words of encouragement really worked for him. This is great. And Mr. Arm, you know what, buddy? You need to stay out of the ring. You cheated last time. Back on out of there, mister. Get out of that ring. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's what I thought. Get out of there. You're not allowed to play if you cheat. Well, you're still allowed to play as it turns out, but you're not allowed to be in the ring while we're setting up. <laughs> All right. So come back in, Mr. Arm. All right. No cheating this time, gentlemen. I said this is to be a fair fight. Do you both understand? Okay, here we go. Round three. On shoot, gentlemen. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Scissors to your rock. Mr. Arm wins that one. Come on, Sylvester, you can do it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper to paper, that one's a draw. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock to rock, that one's a draw. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper to scissors, Mr. Arm wins. Very nice job though, Sylvester. Congratulations, Mr. Arm. Oh, those are some very nice things to say to him, even though, <laughs> even though he didn't play fair the whole time. Hey, so Sylvester didn't win that final round, but, and if you guys have seen the movie Rocky, it's important that he played fair and did his best. <laughs> so uh, does anybody else have any words of encouragement to offer to Sylvester? He didn't win that last round, but he did learn how to play and he played fair. What do you have that you want to say to him, Xander? You did a great job. You did a great job, Sylvester. Aw, did you hear that, Xander? He said, thanks, friend. That was really nice. How about you, Colin? What do you have to say to Sylvester? Even though he lost, he played fair. What do you think? You tried your best to win, and that's what matters. And you played fair. You played fair, and you tried your best, little man. Does that make you feel good, Sylvester? <laughs> You guys are making him feel so much better, I can tell. What about you, Graham? What do you want to tell him? If he had fun, he's doing good. Hey, that's a good point. Did you have fun, Sylvester? This is the most fun that you've had since seeing Star Wars? Dude, that's a lot of fun. So he had a lot of fun. So I think that that, that was, I think it was a win. You know what? I think we ought to grab Sylvester and bring him over here to bring him into our studio. So I'm going to go grab him really quick. Come here, Sylvester. <clears throat> that way you guys can see him up close a little bit too. So you guys can even maybe figure out what he is and how he works. Let's go to my spotlight here real quick. Um, so you guys can see him. So you can see he's actually not too big here. He's just a little guy. Do you guys have any, um, well, before we do that, I wanna say you guys did an awesome job today uh, uh, encouraging him with some nice micro bit signs, uh, figuring out in which ways he did not know how to play. And you also um, fixed his code when somebody else hacked it and tried to cheat to win. So that was really awesome, you guys. I'd love for you all to give yourselves a nice pat on the back because that was great. Nice job, everybody. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna let people know a little bit about CodeJoy and how they can get in contact but then I'd love to open it up to you guys with any questions that you have for Sylvester, 
for uh, me, for Matt. And it actually looks like we might have a couple questions coming in from online. While I set this up, Matt, do you have a couple questions that came in from online? Uh, yes, yeah, we do actually. So uh, let's see, uh, Joshua Ray is a teacher planning his first microbit lesson. And he wants to know how, the, how to uh, download his student's code from microbit classroom. Uh, so we used a little bit of a hack and maybe you could tell them about it, Kelsey. <laughs> we did, we used a, we used a pretty fancy little hack uh, to access microbit classroom. Um, just to tell you a little bit about how, how that all kind of works uh, in the background there. Um, what I did, whoops, I wanna go to this one, sorry. What I did in the background, if I go to microbit classroom, you can see that I signed in myself me, Kelsey, as a teacher. And I actually signed in as three different students, student one, student two, and student three. So I went to an incognito tab down here, um, right there. So I went to an incognito tab so that I could build code as a student and share that code with the other students. So that's how they got that like starter code, the umbrella code, um, and the, the one that we used at the end there. So I signed in as a student and then to download other students code, like when we put Genevieve's code on a micro bit, I shared Genevieve's code with Kelsey, the student number one, and then we downloaded from there. Um, so that's how we use micro bit classroom. Um, let me share just a little bit with you guys about how you can learn more about CodeJoy. And then I wanna open it up to questions that you folks here on Zoom might have as well for me or for Sylvester. I bet some of you are curious about how he's made. Um, so let me uh, share a little bit with you. So as you know, we are CodeJoy. We're this online classroom specializing in coding in robotics education and STEM education. We would love to do um, even more with you, for you, um, with the organizations you work with. Um, and to get to learn more about us, you can go to our website, which is codejoyedu.com. And so there you can learn more about us and you can even help us out in a couple of really cool ways. You can go to our contribute page, which there is a PayPal there, plus there is some information about how you can help us out by boosting our message on social media. So you could tag Matt or me or Code Joy all on Twitter. That's where we are on Twitter. Or we would love for you to tag hashtag make together as well. That's the family maker camp hashtag. So if you liked what you saw here today, um, you could, like I said, contribute to our PayPal. Um, we run on donations right now, as as crazy as that seems, we run on donations. So we could really, we would really appreciate, you know, five dollars for a class or anything like that that you could contribute. Also, we would love to work with you teachers. So I know one of the people that just wrote in was a teacher who's interested in, um, you know, doing this with his class. Uh, on our website, you can find that we hold office hours regularly, so you can come and ask us questions if you want, if you want. But we'd also love to come into your class, kind of like an assembly show when assemblies were a thing, but assemblies kind of aren't a thing now. So we could do something for your class or even for your school or even for your districts if you are interested. Um, so uh, I want to open it up to you folks out there on Zoom. Um, did you guys have any questions for Sylvester, for me, for Matt, or about how any of this stuff works uh, or about the class? Yeah, Graham, did you have something you wanted to show us? Um, yeah, I have this little guy. He's a coin eating robot. And I was wondering if he worked anything like Sylvester. That is great. Oh. If I Look can, at I, that. So, That's awesome. So it raised, can you tell us how it works? If I can get the coin out. Which he <laughs> apparently won't let me get. <laughs> well, he's a very secure coin eating robot. That's good. <laughs> and okay. So um they have it has these little copper plates to sense when you put this on it. Ah. And it send these and it sends a wire back to the battery mm -hmm. to the motor inside which yeah makes the mouth open and that feels like it's sylvester and matt's uh long lost cousin maybe does your coin eating robot have a name um no not yet <laughs> i mean well if you think of a good one let us know we want to we want to hear more about this coin eating robot and maybe yeah matt's like hey, matt's always interested in meeting new robots very sociable 
working. <laughs> Morgan? Oh, there we go. You're showing it working. That's great. Then eat the corn. That is yeah. so cool. You flick this down uh -huh. and it pops back down. That's awesome. Thanks for showing us that, Graham. Looks like we had a couple other things coming in from uh, other from uh, a couple questions coming in from different places. What do we got, Matt? Well, uh, we have some very nice comments. One from Joe saying that we rock. Thank you so much. Thanks, one Joe. From, you rock too. <laughs> one from Arif saying Minecraft. I'm wondering <laughs> what he could be referring to. <laughs> and one from Master Coupon saying, if this reaches you, which it is, how does the sensor not break if it gets hit to activate? So I think uh, he may be referring to when you were shaking the micro bit. Oh, that's a good question. Um, so the, the way that the micro bit um, works, like there's a sensor in here, it's called an accelerometer. So your phone has this in it too. There are so many cool things about uh, micro bits. We're going to show you a couple of them. Um, the way that the, that, the, that the micro bit works, it has an accelerometer in it, so it knows when it's being tilted. It knows when it's being tilted on an X or a Y axis, and it also senses G-force, which is like the force of gravity. So when I bang it like that, the accelerometer is designed to be banged around a little bit. Now, you wouldn't want to like run over it with your car or something or like throw it off a building, but uh, banging it around with the force of a human hand is like pretty dope like that, that it, it, uh, it resists that or it stands up to that pretty nicely. Um, so the micro bit and it has all kinds of cool features on the back that you can check out um, if you ever happen to get a micro bit. They're pretty cool. Um, looks like we had another question coming in about Sylvester. What was that question, Matt? Well, Kenji was wondering how Sylvester's head works. Oh, ah, that's pretty cool. Uh, that is a good question, Kenji. Let me show you. Let's go here. So Sylvester's head has a couple of axes on it, and I can actually take part of it out and show you because it's coming unglued. This is all just cardboard and hot glue, friends, just so you know. Basically, the head works with, uh, it's got two motors on it. It's got two positional or position servo motors on it. One uh, controls the way that it looks back and forth like this. That's the bottom one. And then the other one, if we look up inside there, the other one is attached over here to the side of the head. Here's the, the front of his head here. And the other motor is attached over here to the side of his head. And that one controls him going up and down. So he can go no, he can go yes, and he can do all the things in between there because he's got those two motors. And the thing that this is running off of, um, it had a micro bit inside of it, but it can actually run even when I uh, pull that micro bit out because this is running off of a separate robotics tool called a hummingbird. So this is an, another type of, um, board. It actually uses a micro bit. It's one of the reasons we like micro bits so much. And one of the reasons we like hummingbirds so much is that they're really easy to do cool stuff with motors. So the hummingbird is this piece here. It comes in a kit with motors and LEDs and sensors. It's really cool to use at home or use in school. And so most of our robots, including Sylvester and even Matt, are run off of a hummingbird. So yeah, there we go. Um, and it looks like Lisa had a compliment that she wanted to say to Graham. If we go to gallery view, Lisa, do you want to tell Graham directly or do you want us to interpret? Do you want to unmute yourself, Lisa? An inspiring robot. How did you come up with the idea for that? I just love what you're doing with that coin eating robot. Well, they come in these things called Tinker Crates, and you can get a membership for them. You get okay. one every month, and that was one of the ones that I got. So, and that was one of the plans in there. Yep. Fabulous. That's super um, cool, man. Yeah, that was super cool. Thanks for sharing. Yep. Uh, that was a good question too, Lisa. Thanks for sharing <laughs> that, Graham. Uh, looks like we maybe have one more question that's coming in from online somewhere, and then we'll end our stream from there. What's our last question today, Matt? Well, uh, this is just another nice message from Joshua Ray, uh, the teacher who was asking about Microbit Classroom a little bit earlier, and he says he's going to be reaching out to us about professional development for teachers in his area. So uh, if you're a teacher and you're interested in what we're doing, you may reach out as well. <laughs> Follow Josh's lead. <laughs> you can do that. That's right. We would love to hear from you. And I lost my little cardboard thingy, but uh, my email is kelsey at codejoyedu.com. But you can also find that through our 
website right there. So um, thank you so much to all of you students who participated here on Zoom today. You guys were wonderful. If we go to gallery view, do you guys all wanna wave bye to everybody? Bye everybody out there. Thank you so much to Family Maker Camp and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.